Hey guys, today we're going to be making these super cute strawberry treat boxes and a cute little container to put them in. And this is great for just like a little gift idea or to use as a party favor for a strawberry theme party. And you guys can also use the strawberry template to create like a garland or any other party decorations. So before we get started, make sure that you grab the free template from my blog at svgnation.com and you are going to find a link in the video description that's going to take you directly there as well as links to the supplies used in this video in case you want to check any of those out. So once you have that template, go ahead and add it to your canvas. And we do need to make some modifications to this before it's ready to cut. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what those are. So the first thing you need to do is ungroup your layers. Okay, and right here, this square on top of your container layer, let's click off of here and click on there. Okay, um, this right here is actually for your score lines. If you're not using a scoring tool, then go ahead and delete all of these lines that I'm showing you that are for score lines. However, I do highly recommend using one because it's just going to make everything fold perfectly and line up the way it's supposed to. So go ahead and click on this square right here in your layers panel and go over to your operation and change that to score. And then we're going to need to attach that to the container layer. So all you need to do is click this group right here that has both of those selected and go ahead and attach those. And if we scroll down a little, you'll see these two rectangles down here. These also have lines on them right here that you need to change to score lines. So go ahead and click on this group of lines. And again, if you don't have a scoring tool, then just delete those. And we're going to change that to score. Then we're going to click right here to that group with the bottom piece also and attach those. And we're going to do the same thing right here. We're going to change those to score lines. And then we're going to click right here and we're going to attach those. All right, so for our strawberry, we've got a couple things to do here. Um, so right here, all of these seeds, this is actually going to be your Cricut pen that writes on it. If you don't have any pens or don't want the seeds on your strawberry, then you can just delete this layer. That's fine. Um, but right here, you do need to change the operation to pen. And then you can go right here and change it for what pen you're using. And I do recommend using the marker because if you use the fine point pen, it's not gonna be thick enough so you're gonna kind of see where it draws the outline. However, if you use the marker, it's a lot thicker so it completely fills it in kind of like a seed. Um, but whatever you have on hand or whatever you wanna use will work. I am using the marker in this tutorial. And so right here, we also have some lines right here that we need to change to score lines. So once you have those changed, go ahead and click on this whole group with all the strawberry layers selected and attach those together. So now everything is ready to go. Everything's been modified. Um, but you can resize this if you want. If you want to resize the strawberry smaller or larger, you can. Right now with the size that the strawberry is, it will fit four perfectly on a sheet of 12 by 12 sheet of paper. So it's a really good size and it's a really good size to fit small treats. And this is the size that I am doing in this tutorial. So if you want to make more strawberries, just click on both of these layers together and you can just duplicate and just continue. So we'll go ahead and cut up four right now. So I've duplicated this three more times. So when you're ready, go ahead and click on make it. And we are using our standard mat for this. I'm just going to confirm that. When cutting out your pieces, make sure that you follow the prompts in Cricut Design Space, which is going to let you know when you need to add your scoring tool and when you need to add your pen. And when you add these, you don't need to remove your mat. You're just going to swap out the tool and then press that flashing Cricut button to continue with the process. And once your Cricut is done with scoring and writing, it is automatically going to cut everything out. And then once it's cut, you can remove your mat and then go on to the next one. So once you have everything cut out, go ahead and place your strawberry with the side with the seeds face down and then fold on all of those score lines. And you are folding up so that the strawberry seeds are going to be on the outside of the box. And then you're going to add glue to that one petal that doesn't have any seeds on it. And then you're just going to attach it to the inside of the petal across from it to close that strawberry box together. So those petals should line up perfectly. So when it's connected, you should have like a strawberry with five sides when it's attached. And then using a pen or something similar with a round size, I'm using my scoring stylus here. You're just going to roll the ends of each of those leaf pieces and then kind of press and fold them in. That way they're gonna wrap around your strawberry top. 
And then next, take a piece of your twine and you're gonna string it through the holes that are in your strawberry. And you're gonna bring your twine through the outside to the inside as you string it. And so just bring it through the outside of the hole and back to the inside and string it through all five of those holes at the top of the strawberries. And then you can put your little tree or gift inside and then you're just gonna pull that twine and that's gonna close the strawberry. And it's automatically gonna fold in as you pull that to create the strawberry look. Okay. And now you're gonna string each of the pieces of twine through one of the holes on the leaf and you're just gonna pull that leaf down on top of the strawberry and continue to pull that twine really tight until everything is closed together. And then you're just gonna tie a bow on top to keep it closed. And then that's all there is to it for making your strawberries. And you're gonna continue to repeat these steps for as many strawberries as you wanna make. And then to get the gift out, you're just gonna untie that strawberry and then you can tie the strawberry back to put it back together. When you're ready to assemble the container, start by folding on all four of the score lines to bring those sides up. And then you wanna grab those two long rectangle pieces. And right now you're just gonna fold down that long score line on each of those. So you're folding it in half. And you're gonna notice that there are four small score lines on one side of the rectangle. And then you've got that one right in the middle. Well, those small score lines are guides that you're gonna actually use to glue the container sides in place. So those, each of those sides are gonna glue right within those little guides that you see on there. Um, if you don't have a scoring tool and you didn't score those, and then it's just going to be like in the middle between the end and where that middle of the rectangle is. So now you want to attach one of the sides of the container between those guides and you're going to line it up with the top fold. And then you're just going to glue that top piece over once you've got it glued down. But when you glue the top piece over, make sure that you leave that end side open. Um, so don't glue that part closed. You want to leave that end open so later you can glue the tab piece right inside when you attach everything to the end. So make sure that it stays open and that tab piece can slide right in there. And then you're going to fold that rectangle where that middle score line is. And then kind of open it up and kind of find where those little guides are and add glue in between those so that you can glue the side of the second container down right in between those guides. And then you're going to glue that top rectangle piece over top. And repeat these steps again for that second rectangle piece. So you're going to add glue using those guides and you're going to attach that container to line up with those guides and then flip the rectangle on top to close it and glue it down. And again, make sure that that end stays open because you want to glue that little tab piece inside when you attach them together. All right, so now you can go ahead and fold down on the middle score line and then glue that final container side down and then glue the flap down over it. So once you have all four of those sides glued, go ahead and fold those tab pieces in and then you're gonna glue it right in the middle of that end piece. So if for some reason this part got glued together, um, you can try to pull it a little apart just so that you can get that tab piece glued to the inside. But if you can't do that, then you can just glue the tab piece to the inside of the box. It's just used to hold the container together, but I do find it looks better when it's hidden inside. Um, but whichever one works for you. And you're going to do this for both of the tab pieces. Just glue them right inside of that rectangle. And then all that's left is to glue the handle to the inside of your box. And all you're doing is gluing it to each side of the box on the inside. And so once this container is dry, you're just gonna add in all your strawberries and it is ready to go. Um, and you can leave these sitting around for like a cute party favor, but this also makes such a fun gift and you can put all kinds of fun things on the strawberries so that each strawberry is a surprise. Um, so it's just a lot of fun to give and for somebody to get. But if you guys have any questions on how to make this, make sure to leave those in the comments and I will answer them there. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.